Customer feedback made Tesla add round steering wheel to Model SX January 18, 2023. Tesla is known for its approach to continuously develop and update its products instead of waiting for yearly cycles like most automakers. The EV maker manages to improve its cars frequently thanks mostly to over-the-air to software updates. But the automaker doesn't shy away from making physical updates to its cars when something needs to be corrected. The recent decision to offer a traditional steering wheel again on the refreshed Model S and Model X is a good example. And Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holtzhausen shed more light on that decision-making process when talking to Ryan McCaffrey on the Ride the Lightning podcast. Asked if customer feedback was behind Tesla's decision to give customers the option to choose between a round steering wheel or steering yoke. Von Holtzhausen who is a big fan of the yoke and would like to see it on the Cybertruck as well confirmed that was the case. I think it was just making sure that we had a car that people really loved. And if somebody loved the car but the yoke was in the way. We want to just remove that obstacle. This sounds like the logical thing to do in a situation like this. And it's refreshing to hear from a top-level executive that Tesla values and acts upon customer feedback. There are certainly many Model S and Model X fans out there who love the cars but hate the steering yoke. And it did not make much sense for Tesla not to give them the option of a traditional steering wheel. Especially as the yoke was clearly a deal-breaker for some of them. While the yoke is clearly polarizing, the capacitive buttons on it that include functions such as the blinkers and the horn are also opinion-splitting. However, Franz von Holtzhausen did not say whether Tesla plans to offer steering wheel stalks again as alternatives for the capacitive buttons. Mind you, he did say during the same podcast that the Model 3 and Model Y will likely not get stalkless systems like the Model S and Model X because Tesla has so far not seen a need or a demand to change the systems in the vehicle today. This begs an obvious question. Why has Tesla introduced stalkless steering systems on the Model SX to begin with? Source. Reposted and summarized from Dan Mahalasku at InsideEVS.com. My take. Tesla should have offered the yoke steering wheel as an option to start with. Tesla's new autopilot. And full self-driving hardware. Details surface. January 18th, 2023. Tesla may be planning to release updated or revamped versions of its autopilot and full self-driving. FSD capability features. New information has come to light about potential hardware changes, which would go against what Tesla has been promising all along. As you may know, Tesla and, more specifically, CEO Elon Musk has been promising completed full self-driving FSD for some time now. There's also been plenty of talk about an unassisted coast-to-coast -coast Tesla trip, a fleet of robotaxis, and the like. However, the technology has been much harder to solve than Tesla expected. Tesla has been saying for years now that every car it produces has all the hardware necessary to be able to accomplish the above. After sharing such goals, the company also removed the radar from its vehicles in favor of a camera-based vision-only setup, which has proven quite successful. More recently, it came to light that Tesla is also removing ultrasonic sensors from its cars. And we know full well that Musk is very opposed to the use of LiDAR. During the time that Tesla's EVs were supposed to be fully equipped with the hardware to drive themselves, the automaker was forced to do computer and camera upgrades to bring older vehicles up to date. However, despite years of work and many incremental software updates, Tesla's cars still can't completely drive themselves. The company insists that a driver must be present and ready to take control at any time. Unlike most legacy automakers, Tesla makes changes to its vehicle's hardware on the fly. This means that at any given time, it could begin using new hardware in any of its vehicles. That said, the automaker has noted that if you own a vehicle and new hardware is required, it will perform the upgrade free of charge. More recently, it has become clear that Tesla will likely have no choice but to make some significant updates and upgrades if it's going to truly achieve a much higher level of vehicle autonomy. According to Electrek, Tesla may be adding a radar back into its cars as soon as this month. The publication also notes that the refreshed Model 3 will likely come to market with a new hardware suite for Autopilot and FSD. Additional information has emerged about Tesla's Autopilot hardware 4.0 via regulatory documents from China. Electrek says Tesla makes such changes in China first. So these documents should give us an idea of what to expect going forward.
The leaked document reveals Tesla's plans for a front-facing camera setup with two higher-resolution cameras to replace the current setup, which has three lower-res cameras. The details also show that there will be some sort of heat to help keep the cameras clear. And the heating system will also be used for the cameras on the B-pillars. Electrek writes that while the Model 3 prototype also seemed to have headlight or bumper cameras, these aren't mentioned in the leaked regulatory documents. Hopefully, Tesla will provide more details soon. If it does release a new Model 3 with a new hardware suite, one would assume all vehicles would have to get the updates. However, Tesla has always said the current hardware is enough to run the ever-changing autopilot and FSD software. So who knows? This topic definitely deserves some conversation in the comment section below. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. Every day we are getting closer and closer. To Tesla FSD mission completed. Tesla EV sales in China. Surged after price cuts. January 18th, 2023. In theory, lower prices should boost sales and this is probably what is happening right now with Tesla electric cars. According to Reuters, Tesla's retail sales surged in the first part of January, after the company cut its prices by 5.7 to 13.5% in an attempt to sell more cars. We already heard unofficial news about a high number of orders as high as 30,000 in three days. And now the China Merchants Bank International CMBI revealed that Tesla sales during the seven days between January 9-15, increased by 76% year-over-year to 12,654. That would be a positive outcome, especially considering that during the period, the average car sales in China decreased by 14.5%. While in the case of X, EVs, electric or hybrid vehicles, there was a growth of 36.5%. In other words, the market is going down. While Tesla is outpacing the green car segment, in January 2022, Tesla sold in China 19,346 made in China Mike Model 3 and Model Y cars, while another 40,499 were exported. If the growth really is 76%, then we can expect around 34,000 units. That would be a lower result than in December 41,926. But at the same time, a new record for the first month of a quarter at the beginning of a quarter. Tesla usually focuses on export. We don't know anything for sure, but let's note that January might be solid. Interestingly, XPeng sales, according to CMBI, decreased 36% year over year, which would throw new light on why the company recently lowered prices. The biggest side news is however what is happening with BYD. The volume reportedly more than doubled year over year to 40,435. Within the same period, January 9, 15, BYD sold almost 93,000 in January 2022. But its most recent production and sales rate far exceed 200,000 per month. This is why a report about doubled volume is not a surprise. BYD just continues its expansion actually the rate of growth is slowing down. The list provided by Moneyball also indicates that there is no new energy vehicle brand even close to BYD. Source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at InsideEVS.com. My take. This was obviously a smart move. At the right time. By Tesla. Hertz added EV rentals. And went from bankruptcy. To huge profits. January 18th. 2023. It wasn't that long ago that rental car company Hertz went bankrupt. It also wasn't that long ago that Hertz hired Tom Brady to promote the fact that it had placed an order for 100,000 Tesla EVs to rent to customers across the globe. Now, it's back to making notable profits. You probably remember when Hertz ordered 100,000 Tesla EVs. It was big news. Not only because it has to do with Tesla, but also because NFL superstar quarterback Tom Brady was involved. And because it seemed Hertz was doomed not long before it all happened. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Hertz had to order its Teslas just like any other customer. It didn't get a fleet discount. And it would have to wait in line. That said, the rental car company is still gradually taking delivery of that long list of Teslas. Meanwhile, it's renting them in locations all over the map. And they're seemingly quite popular. Even people who may have no interest in buying an EV might rent and try a Tesla if the opportunity presented itself. 
since ramping up its EV offerings. Hertz has enjoyed a 12% increase in annual profits. While you may be thinking this spike in revenue is due to the fact that EVs are growing in popularity and causing Hertz's rentals to skyrocket. That's not the whole story. Sure, Hertz is having much more rental success than it was not long ago. And business is way up compared to pandemic levels. But the real kicker here comes from the cost savings. Following the third quarter of 2022, Hertz CEO Stephen Scher announced yet another EV deal. This time with GM for 175,000 electric cars. The company also noted that it made a whopping $2.5 billion in revenue during the third quarter. And that was ahead of those new EVs coming in. Scher shared during the earning call. We focused on operational excellence and fleet optimization to produce financial results that facilitated investment in our strategic priorities. Like electrification, while enhancing returns to our shareholders and being in the service of our customers. Hertz calculated that its EVs are between 50-60% cheaper to maintain than gasoline-powered cars. In addition, the cars don't need to be maintained or repaired as often, which means more time in service. Hertz also recently announced a third EV partnership. It's purchasing 65,000 EVs from Polestar. Between Tesla, GM, and Polestar, Hertz aims to have nearly 350,000 electric cars in its fleet. If it's already seeing these cost savings and revenue growth, it should see even more monumental results as the new EVs start to trickle in. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take. Good job Hertz. Glad your partnership with Tesla has been working out for you.